In this demonstration, we are going to explore um, using email at Mott Community College. So to start off with, we're going to type in the username. Username should be the same thing as you use to log on to the computer. We're going to log in and we're going to be in our inbox. Yours most likely will have a few things within. I'm going to create an email. To do so, I click on Compose. I'm going to send it to someone. I'll add a subject, so I'll put in my first email. Your assignment will be different than this. And then I'll put the body to the email. I'll click send, and the email will be sent. You'll notice that I have it within my email box because I sent it to this email account and I could see the subject line and it'll also automatically show me a little bit of the email. If I click on the email I can view what the person sent me. I can reply to it by clicking on reply or just clicking in this box. And send. You'll notice that in Gmail we have a threading view, so it'll show you what was sent, how you replied, and it'll keep going on as you have more and more emails. I clicked the arrow, or I can click on Inbox and show this email. It'll show me who the sender is, in this case it's me, and how many emails there are in the conversation. I can always click back on and see the email. It'll make the first email or any subsequent email smaller and only show the last one in full view. All you have to do is click on the email, and it'll expand or collapse it. Next, we'll discover how to add an attachment. So I'm going to go into Microsoft Word. And I'm going to create a simple attachment. There we go. I'm going to save it, and I'll put it on my desktop. So my file, and I'll click Save. I can close Word. I'm going to create a new email, send it to myself, and a subject. I'm going to attach a file by clicking Attach a File. I'm going to browse to the file and select it. There we go. So now the file is attached to my email. I'll type in the body of the message. And I'll send. Alright, it's been sent. When I look in the inbox, I can see that there is a um, paper clip. That shows that the email does have an attachment. Click on that. I can view the file. If I click view, it's automatically going to display using Google. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to see it open up in Word. So I'm going to click download. I'm going to save it to my computer. And you'll notice here that I already have it on my desktop. It's already on my computer. So I'm going to give it a different name. So I'm going to say with answers. So I'm going to modify this file. There we go. My file is downloaded. I'm going to open it up in Word. Now it's going to say this is originated from the internet, so Word is trying to protect me from having any viruses or anything. Well I know that the file is good because I created it. So I'm going to click Enable Editing. And I'll add some things that I like. So ice cream, nature, moose. There we go. I'm going to save my file. I'm going to close Word. And I'm going to reply with my answers. And I can attach a file. Whoops. I attached the wrong file, 
So what I could do is I could uncheck the attachments I don't want. Let's say attach another file now. There's the file I want. And you notice that I only want to send this file right here. That's the only one checked. I'll click send. Go back to my inbox. And I could see there's my file with answers. I can verify it by downloading. I'll just open this time. And there's my file with my answers. That concludes how to send emails. How to browse the web for information. So for example, if I want to go to um, Mott's website and search for a class, go to mcc.edu, search for classes, select my term, so I'll say fall, I'm going to look for CMG 153, and submit. And there we go, there are all the sections that are available. If I want to search outside of my site, Google is always a great place to go. So I went up into the address bar and I typed in google.com. And in Google, I can type out my question. So, for example, um, let's see, I need to find out where an oil change place is. So I'll say oil change, comma, Flint, comma, Michigan. And here we go, I could find some options local to me as far as where I can get an oil change. Google also provides a map so I can find out what's closest to me. Click on the map. And if I'm on Mott's campus, looks like right there, Tuffy Auto Center. I can click on their link. This is the Google page on them. There's the website. And now I can see their website. And that concludes how to search the internet.